two sides in the relegation zone went head to head on Wednesday when Ajaccio played host to Angers. Ajaccio picked up four points from their final two games before the World Cup break, which also made it eight from their final four. A strong round of form, which had seen them move from relegation favourites to within one point of safety. Angers, on the other hand, had lost their previous seven league matches as they slipped to the bottom of the pile, one which saw Gerard Batik relieved of his duties during the break and Abdel Bouazama put in charge on an interim basis. Ajaccio, the only team in Liga who breaks not to have a player feature at the World Cup, and perhaps showing that freshness as they went on the attack early on. One cross blocked, one shot blocked, and then another striking the outside of the post. Close, but no cigar for Munayim El Idrissi. Visitors did get going though and produced a couple of chances of their own. First, good strength from Adrian Unu, and a decent ball in, but not the connection Farid El Melali would have wanted. go just as close as their opponents. Through ball for Unu, who slid it under the onrushing Benjamin Lacroix, but onto the upright. Another similar ball as Unu timed his run perfectly again, but this time the keeper out even quicker and just about getting away with an iffy second touch. And then having withstood that spell of pressure, the host pounced on a misunderstanding at the back. The ball dinked into the box for Youssef Belaeli, who beat Bernardoni to the ball and was brought down, prompting the referee to point to the spot. The decision eventually confirmed after a lengthy VAR check. And the man who won the penalty also the one to take it, Belaeli making no mistake, slotting under Bernardoni into the bottom left. 1-0. Four goals in three league games, albeit over the course of two months. In the dying seconds of the first half, El Idrissi with a spectacular acrobatic effort. The ball dropping just wide of the near post. These two clubs were meeting for the first time in the top flight since 1973. It was a 1-1 draw in Corsica, but Aka had won just once in ten games against Sko coming into this match. And they were back on the defensive in the second 45. Manger with the chance to get back on level terms. Amini Salama going close with a spin away from his defender and a testing shot from just outside the area. Lechua with a diving save to his left though. And as the game reached the final minutes, Sko would produce one of their biggest chances. The ball delivered in from the right. Abdelassima's header well saved and Sada Tube only able to knee the rebound well over. A big opportunity to equalise wasted. One final chance, Tube looking to make amends for the miss, galloping down the wing, putting a good cross, but another Sima header unable to get the best of the Jaxio keeper. And that was that. 1-0. The Ajaccio revival continues, a win that moves them all the way up to 15th, their time rooted to the bottom of the table, becoming a distant memory. For Andre though, it's very much in the here and now as they slip to six points from safety.